Hey guys, this is Viking Gamer 92 back with another back with another new game called West of Loathing. Now, for anyone who uh, back in the uh, few many well, actually I shouldn't even say many years ago, uh, there was a game called Kingdom of Loathing that was in my opinion an amazing game that it was a uh, browser based and you basically and they, it was. Uh, a, kind of like a comedy RPG where you had a certain number of actions you could take like daily and they refreshed every day and you could go around uh, this map, you know, unlocking new areas and it was a little cool RPG this little cool RPG that was um, super that, and my, I loved it and this is a game and I heard about this uh, game West of Loathing of uh, I don't remember even when they've announced it. I think it might have been at... Oh, jeez. Was it at... Uh... E3? I can't remember right now, but... And I was immediately excited. Because I... I... These games... I, I assume it's gonna probably... It, it looked like they had the same aesthetic as Kingdom of Loathing. And... <coughs> excuse me. And, uh... This looks so like so much fun and I and I had to play it so let's start a new game uh, wanted for for protagonizing <laughs> okay so is this the character creation menu here okay yeah let's just Bjorn Williams okay <laughs> oh god. Oh, I had the strangest dream. I was choosing a character class. Okay, am I a cow puncher? Am I a bean slinger? Or am I a snake oiler? Oh god. Um Oh jeez. I I kind of want to be a cow puncher. Oh, but that beans the all of these look cool. Um, jeez. I mean, the snake, okay, so if we're going with traditional RPG archetypes here, I'm assuming, you know, Cow Puncher's the fighter, Bean Slinger's obviously the mage, and Snake Oiler, I mean, they kind of seem like a, okay, so they are basically the rogue, because I think that's, yeah, okay, we'll go with the Snake Oiler, because... Why the hell not? Okay, snake oilers rely on their moxie and chutzpah to tame snakes, their fearlessness to extract potent oils from those snakes, and their cleverness to manufacture and sell potions made from those oils. You've heard snake oilers do really well out west, and since the cows came home, why is that all capitalized? Everyone needs potions and hope in these dark days and also out west where there's uh, where all the best snake lives. Okay, so let's read all the flavor text here because I have to. Cowpunchers solve their problems with their fists. Whether it's shaking them at a disagreeable feller in a disreputable saloon or using them to punch slightly more disagreeable feller in a slightly less reputable saloon. You've heard that cowpunchers are in demand out west since the cows came home, which stands to reason the cows aren't going to punch themselves after all. Uh... Should I keep doing that accent? I mean, I kind of want to. Okay, I'm, go I'm going. I'll, I'll do it for now. Magic and Cook on Earth, inexorably intertwined and loaded, and the Bean Slingers are the mystical masters of both. You've heard that there's a shortage of cooks out west since the cows came home, due to the most of the cooks having been uh, brutally killed by the cows. Okay, so I don't want to be a Bean Slinger. I mean, that, that sounds cool, but I don't really... Uh, maybe in my free town. Uh, maybe, in, like, if I make another character. But I think I want to be a... Yeah, I, I kind of want to be a snake oiler. I was always, like, the moxie characters. Oh, wow. This is like... Hey, Russell, how you doing? Caw! I'm gonna miss you, buddy. Caw! He's Russell Cricket. Grab from your cricket bag and feed it to Russell. He coos, appreciate it, and nuzzles your hand. Maybe it's time for you to leave, too. 
You open the bedroom window, not pictured. <laughs> Unlatch the door to Russell's cage. He winks at you, calls one last time, and flies to the west. It's time to hit the trail. Okay. So that was nice. Let's comb our hair. Okay. Uh, Lou Drew and the Mystery of the Terrible Prison. B. Smith and the Curse of Vampire Grove. The Curse of Rattlesnake Barn. Mary Smith and the Last Secret of Grizzly Lighthouse. Claudia Jones and the Haunted Woods. Okay. Weird poster appears it appears here one. Okay, so you can use Wazd or the arrows. Okay, cool. Goodbye, phonograph. Okay, goodbye, bed. Goodbye, bed. It's time to head west to chase my real dreams. Okay, so... Alright, eyes inventory. The Walking Stupid. Unlocks Walking Stupid as an option. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. You read the book from cover to cover and learn how to walk really stupid. Walking Stupid is now added to the options menu. You accidentally drop the book and ruin it by stepping on it 30 times while you're trying to pick it up. <laughs> oh, that's why I love these games. Oh, uh, okay. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, I don't know. I was hoping it'd be like the Ministry of Silly Walks type of deal. Okay. Okay, that's... Oh, okay. I get one... <laughs> oh. oh my god <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh jeez this is just going to be me laughing the entire time oh I got a puzzle cube okay this is fiddle with it hooray <laughs> but you figure out the last couple moves fiddle with it You've already solved it. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> no. I can't. I can't handle it. Okay, we have to turn that off for a minute. Um, allows you to level attempts to create a well-rounded character. Oh. Uh, nerd mode. This plays a log describing what happens if Provides a few other pieces of metagame information in various places. I don't like to metagame in a classic RPG <laughs> like Dungeons and Dragons, but you know what? It's gonna happen here. Nothing on the old hat rack today. Okay, so. Oh, hi, Mama. Your mom uh, smiles warmly as you approach. I'm leaving now, Mom. Oh, we're gonna miss you, kiddo. Oh, and I hope before you leave, I got you. Oh, oh, wow, I butchered that sentence. Oh, and before you leave, I got you a present. Present? Yep, it's that book you wanted for Crimbo. I know it's early, but... Ooh, the one on picking locks, the one on desert survivor, survival, or the one on bartering. Well, I am a rogue. So I will go on the one on picking locks. That's the one. Enjoy it. Be careful out there. Write us a letter when you can. She hugs. Aw, oh, Mom, I love you. Okay, let's read our books. <laughs> okay. Uh, gives you the lock-picking expertise skill. You quickly memorize the entire book. After you're done reading it, you donate to the local orphanage. So, uh, so soon those orphans will be able to make their escape. Go orphans, go. No time to screw around in the woods. Time to head west. <laughs> oh my god. I actually am heading west. That hat doesn't fit you, Dad. I'll grow into it. <laughs> I'll grow into it, son. It's time for me to leave. His lip quivers a little. Listen, I, I want you to have this. It's your grandmother's briefcase. Full of snakes. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Thanks for this briefcase full of snakes. Good good luck out there. Be sure to say goodbye to your mother. I did. Goodbye, Dad. Oh, there's my nerdy little brother, I'm guessing. Your brother Rufus is standing here looking nervous. He's pretty good at looking nervous. Give him the puzzle box. You hand him the puzzle and he starts fidgeting with it. 
Rufus, it's time for me to head west. I don't understand why you're... I don't understand why you're leaving. He's got a point, you know. Why are you heading west? To help people? To seek my fortune? To get off this stupid-ass farm? No, to seek my fortune. There's opportunity here, kid. I'm, if I'm gonna make it something of myself, I gotta head out there and make some meat. But it's so dangerous! 60% of the people who go west get killed within a year. And that statistic is from before the cows came home. I'll be okay. I'll be okay. You worry about taking care of mom and dad. I'll worry about me. If you say so. I still think you'll be dead by Crimbo. I'll miss you, Rufus. I, you gave him the play. I'll miss you, Rufus. Okay! <laughs> he, was, he was rubbing his arm. Oh, found a needle. In the haystack. Okay. There's a lot of snakes in this briefcase. Okay, so that probably, like, regenerates... Okay, so I want to make sure I don't miss anything. Um, it, was, it seemed like there were five secrets on the farm. Okay, let me just zoom through this a hundred times. Okay, I think we're good. Oh wait, there was another one there. Okay, yep. Okay, nothing over this way. Already talked to him. I just want to hug you one more time before I leave. Smiles and hugs you again. Oh, our mom is so great. Goodbye, Rufus, you butt. Yeah, I mean, I I guess I probably just missed the secrets. One, to skip opening credits. Uh, you know what? I think I am going to leave it there for now. I think that was a good introduction to the game for both of us, and this was too good. This was everything I was hoping for it to be. I I, ha I can give no complaints about this. This this was great. Um, I'll probably put these out in in short bits. Like I'll I'll try to make them as short as I can, but get this game if you like if you like comedy rpgs like this um okay i guess we're already there but yeah we can just uh stop stop here that's fine but oh a turnip cart oh, oh and they knocked me off hey free turnip but yeah um but yeah i'll leave that here and then I'll, i'm probably going to be recording this in one long session so <laughs> anyway until next time, guys, it's been the Viking Gamer 92. Hope you enjoyed watching. See ya.